Hello everybody, Stuart McAdam here and in today's video we're going to be talking about how to create a content calendar for your client's business or for your own small and local business. And I'm going to be using the example of my client Fire Recruitment Australia to give you a bit of an idea as to how we create the content that people are going to engage in and really get behind supporting you with. So let's get straight into it. So with Fire Recruitment Australia, obviously the recruitment process to become a firefighter is you know, quite sort of structured and ordered. You've got the initial application registration of interest, you've got the aptitude test, you've got the team building activities that you've got to do and participate in, you've got the interview process, um, and you've got to do the physical ability test as well. And all of those things require a certain amount of knowledge and information and also, I guess, physical ability. You know, if being a firefighter is more than just putting out fires, you've got to be quite skilled at a number of different things. And that is often reflective of who you are as a person and utilizing those strengths. So in order to get started with that, I work with the founder uh, to make sure that we've got all the bases covered in a 12-week content calendar. So in two weeks, we might talk about aptitude testing and what that involves and maybe provide a video or a download of value that someone who is reading the post may be interested in. We could be speaking two weeks later about the interview process as well. So what are the common mistakes that people make in the interview process? How can we resolve those problems? Uh, speak to the interview coach as well, who could provide a couple of tips and insights. So there was a podcast that the owner has done with the interview coach that he's got, and she provides some great, great overview and perspective as well. It could be talking about physical testing, how people may perceive that to be easy, providing again a free download or a heavily uh, discounted price on the book itself, or it could be looking at something uh, more holistic altogether, people that may make multiple mistakes uh, throughout the recruitment process. And even if they do get to the next stage, they get caught up eventually. And then what you want to do once you've got all of those ideas is you want to start putting together a bit of an idea and a constructed test with your content to see what people are responding to best. So if we just scroll from top to bottom and have a look at what people are engaging with best, we've got our pin post right here, which is a walkthrough of what's included in the membership program. And as you can see here, there's more than 4,400 people that have been reached, over 339 engagements. It's quite a good, um, concise overview of what's in there. And the video is 15 minutes long, so it won't require too much time investment from people. We've got sort of more picture-based text with sort of a motivational quote that can help people sort of get a bit of inspiration. So this is quite good for people who may not be interested in becoming firefighters, but people you can make aware of the brand who may know somebody at some stage that does want to become a firefighter and then they can refer them onto the client here. You can have a look at the latest blog post, um, have a look at the physical ability accelerator. It's nice, easy and concise summary. It's the latest, one of the most popular blog posts that has been written. So this went up 20 hours ago. It's already reached almost 500 people. And as you can see here, 15 people have clicked through on it. And here it's talking about Cognify, which is sort of aptitude testing. So again, there is a consistent cycle. It's about aptitude here. It's about fitness here. It's about aptitude again. So it's consistently producing the same content and information for areas of the recruitment process that people are looking to improve in. And it's providing updates. It's providing more information on what the membership is about. 
it's again having you know motivation for people to aspire to i mean have a look at this post here this went up uh, 21st of October so last week it reached more than a thousand people had 92 engagements and 27 people have liked or hearted the post so it's gotten a very good level of engagement and reached a lot of people so those are just some of the ideas for you as you, just to summarize again the whole process that I use to start with it is to look at the different breakdowns of the recruitment process so the interview process the aptitude testing the physical ability testing, uh, personality profiling, the general process altogether, and using that to create informational posts that people will find valuable. That could be through content offers, uh, it could be through discounted pricing for one of the books, or it could be around providing just a bit of motivation for people as well in the wider context where they have you know you know you're getting a quick asking them questions getting them to engage you could provide motivation for them so these this is a group of people that have graduated from the from the training and that's a situation that a lot of our potential customers uh, want to be in is that they want to become career firefighters and this provides them with a bit of motivation and reminder that they can do it so that's how I do a general content plan. Start with what information needs to be shared, build out some of the other informational stuff from good from a branding perspective, motivational quotes, asking people how they're going with their training and preparation, and just use that to continue building out, providing value and engaging people. And if you can do that well, then you're going to succeed with creating effective content plans. So I hope you found that useful. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel and tap the bell icon below for regular updates. Thank you very much everyone, we'll see you in the next video.